In this video, let us understand how to make online gas cylinder booking. Because if you provide an online option, customer can book very easily. So therefore, that is the main aim of this particular project. So it's a web application project demo we done in ASP.NET with C# with backend as a SQL Server. So we all know like all the companies nowadays require an online provision. So therefore, even for gas also, if you provide online booking then it is easy for the customer to book the gas online. So and also now there are many provide players so therefore each company required this kind of projects therefore it will have a very good scope so if you learn like how to make this in future you can get the job in this kind of companies. So you can do this project in ASP.NET or you can use in JSP or you can do it in PHP or you can also do it in Python. You can use in a pure Python with exam server or you can use the uh, any framework and we can do it in a python also so first let us understand the concept so here company cylinder company i provide a cylinder services to customers so the customer can book the cylinder So this information has to come to the company. So book code list. So once they know the book list, they can check out the payment. So because once you make the booking, so you need to do the online payment. If the payment is done, so they can deliver the cylinder. So here you can see that whether the uh, cylinder is delivered or not. So you can also have a multiple sizes. It's not only one size, you can have a multiple sizes. I'll show this how the whole project works in a demo. So if you have any project requirement or if you are looking for a customized projects, so please contact us. So now let's see the demo. Fine. So here we are using Visual Studio. Uh, here is a gas booking. So these are the files which are using in the project. And other side we have Server Explorer. We expand this data connections. Here is a data connection and then tables. So these are tables which you are using in the project. So if you would go to admin main page, so here are the options. So in the admin we provide area names and the corresponding list, cylinder type and the corresponding list, customer details, this is important, and their list, staff members, who are all the employees working there, that list, customer booking list, when the customer book, the list will shown here. You can also see the payment list, and then you can dispatch the cylinder, uh, dispatched list, uh, complaint list and then FAQ then update cylinder price so any change in the cylinder price we can update via this thing on the other side customer main so here are the options cylinder price list uh, book the cylinder and book good list what are your book that list messages and if there any complaint you can raise the complaint and the view FAQ FAQ is the frequently asked questions let's see that how this works and uh, how we can enter the data so here is the main page. So we can go to this. So here area name. So you can go to list and you can see there is one area is already entered. So you can enter more areas here. Then cylinder type. So we have one type here regular 14 kg. So you can hit 18 kg or even smaller size all you can enter via this particular form. And customer details. You need to fill up all the details of the customer and what cylinder they will buy that is also in it yet. So if you go to list so there are two customers now. Then staff members so it is a one staff member detail. Now so if you go to customer booking list so any booking is done that we can able to see here new bookings. Then if the booking done so you need to check out the payment also whether the first same payment is done or not. If the payment is done we can dispatch the this particular cylinder. To dispatch you have to click select button. So dispatch done successfully. Again if you go to cylinder dispatch there is nothing to dispatch because everything is over. Then dispatch list for whom and all uh, is dispatched that list is there here. Then complaint list if anybody files a complaint that you can see. And then update cylinder price if any changes we can update here. On the other end we can as a customer we can log in we can book the cylinder. Now I'll just go to this and then if you go to customer, so now I'll take the customer ID and the password. 
So here you can go to cylinder booking. So book cylinder. Right. So then how do you done the payment? So you can say that uh, credit card. Can card payment. Uh, transaction number. So it's a dummy payment only so indicative. So if that is done on the other side it should be reflective like. In that mean it should reflect. Then booked list you can see that uh, whatever you book that list will come here. Then messages if there is any message that will come. Cylinder booked okay. So here we show on a screen but you can same thing can be rerouted to the mobile phone also. So this is the message is generated. Now we can come back to admin side you can see that uh, customer booking list. There is a new booking here. Then we check the payment of the same. So whether the payment is done for the same or not. So done. So next is we can dispatch the cylinder. On selecting this, so we dispatch the cylinder. Now we can come back to this and if you go to messages, you can see that cylinder dispatched. So, so it will be delivered to very soon. So therefore another message is generated. So next is the here book it, uh, cylinder dispatch list. So now we can see that the same is dispatched. So that means it's delivered to the customer. So if there is any complaint, customer can file the complaint. The subject, uh, gas leak. So our cylinder have a leak. Please send the corresponding person to check this. Okay. So then complaint is raised here and then you can see complaint list. So there is a complaint gas leak, gas cylinder leak from the customer 100. So then need to manage the complaint. So therefore this is the two important modules. So here is the customer module and here is the admin module. So both should communicate properly and then what are the data has to communicate properly. So that is happening now. So I think the project is working fine. Right. So we have separate videos to like how you can make the project. So please watch them also. So in our uh, channel we have a lot of project related videos. So when you have free time so please browse the channel name and then go to videos and please check them. Okay. Thank you.